In this lesson, we will organize reports by adding groups and sorting the records and adding some totals as we go along. I have this report where I have all of my employees along with purchase price for the assets that they are assigned to at the company. Now, each employee belongs to a department and I would like to total what each department has in terms of sum of purchase price. In order to do that, we need to group the employees into the departments they belong to. And we're going to switch this over to Design View. And in the Design ribbon within Design View, you have a group called Grouping and Totals. Now, if you look at the sections here, I only have Page, Header, and then Detail. As soon as we start introducing a group, you will see a new section appear. You can have a group section appear at the bottom or at the top of the details. To start, we're going to click on Group and Sort. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see the Group and Sort starts with an option to add a group or to add a sort. I'm going to click on Add a Group. And it's giving me all the fields that are available in the report's record source. And currently, I'm using a query, which has a combination of fields from multiple tables. I would like to group by department name. And right away, you'll see a section header that says department name header. There's nothing in the section yet. I'm going to create a label for the section and format it. But you'll also see there's more options available for the group. And then you also have an option to remove the group or to close the area that has the group and sort options. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by introducing a label. It's actually going to be a text box that works as a label for the section. And we're going to go to the Design ribbon, Tools group, and click on Add Existing Fields. Here are all the fields we just saw in the group and sort option and I am looking for a department name, and I'm going to drag it over into the department name header. The label that's associated with it can get deleted, and we'll just keep the text box and just kind of move it over to the left. Now, when you switch over to the reports print preview, you can start seeing here is the IT department. All the employees below are part of the IT department. Now, I see operations has been separated from the records. So if I go to the next page, I start seeing the employees in operations. We can control that in the group and sort options. Finally, you'll see another sales department. I have three departments in total here. When I switch over to design view, I'm going to go ahead and click on the department name header. And then I'm going to switch over to the Property Sheet, which you can do by right-clicking and selecting Property Sheet, or selecting it from the Tools. Now make sure that the Department Name header is selected. And then in the Property Sheet, we're looking for formatting options. And the back color is currently set to Background 1. I'm not sure what Background 1 is exactly, so I'll click on the Build button. And I want to select a dark blue color. Next, I'm going to click on the text box that has the department name. Maybe I'll go ahead and make it a little bit wider. And I want to get rid of the white fill color. So back to the property sheet. Back style is set to normal. I'm going to change that to transparent. And then once in a while, if it's easier, you can just work off of the format ribbon. I have Shape Outline here. Perhaps it's easier to just come here and choose Transparent. Now the last thing would be the font color. I'm going to go to the left side of the Format ribbon and select a white font in bolded. All right, so that looks good. Now I'm going to switch over to the Print Preview. I'm going to go to the first page at the top, and here's the IT department. Now, you know what I would like to see is the word maybe department here. But more than that, I want to make sure that my sections stay together. Okay. So as I go up and down, what I'm looking for are sections that are separated. You know, it's really hard to see, but if you look at the bottom here, perhaps if I switch to layout view, it might be easier or report view. 
There actually is a section of operations and it's a lighter color. So let's investigate that further and change a couple other options. Back to design view. I'm having issue with the header, so I'm selecting that area of the report. And it's the alternate back color. We've seen this before, but this time we don't want it. So we're going to go to alternate back color to no color. And that will remove the banding of the rows between each group that we've created. Now I also talked about separation of groups. So down below where the group and sort options are, select more. And then if you look at these options a little bit further, we're grouping on department name and we're sorting the departments A to Z. Okay, so I'm seeing sales last and IT first instead of the other way around. I also have the option to add totals, which I'm going to do at this time. And I also want to scroll down a little bit so I can focus in on the section that will change. Watch as you select no totals option you will see a new section here. I want a total on purchase price. So I'm going to select that option. I do want to sum, add the numbers, but you do have some other aggregate functions. Down below, I'm going to show this as a subtotal in the group footer. Here you will see now a department name footer. We'll look at the text box a little bit more in detail in a moment. But if you check show grand total, you'll also see that section now has a calculation in it. All right, as we keep moving along here, you'll also see the last option says do not keep group together on one page. So when you're working on your report, if your section group title is separated from the actual data, you have three options here. The one that is selected does not give you any control. You can keep the entire group together on one page. I'm going to select the third option. Keep the first record with the header. All I need now are labels to the left of these items. To give you a visual on that, I'm going to quickly switch over to print preview. Oh, here's a total. I have no label. I'm not sure what it's totaling. So I would have to scroll up and kind of look further. So since I have IT here, I've already demonstrated that. Down here, I want to show you how to add text to that label. I want to see the department name and the word total. In my design view, I'm going to make sure I'm in the section dealing with that. And I'll give myself a little bit more space by closing the unnecessary areas. And then I'll scroll down. And here's my department name footer. I'm going to go to the design ribbon and choose the control of a text box. And then I'll go ahead and click on it and then click to the left of the department name footer. The label stays static, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the label. And the unbound text box, I'm going to go ahead and delete what's inside. And I'm going to create a calculation that holds my new text for the section. I'm going to type in equals to let Access know it's a calculation. And then I'm going to put the field name in a square bracket department name, square bracket. And the empress and symbol is going to allow me to concatenate and add to the existing text. And in quotes is where I place that existing text. So after the name of the department, IT, I want to see a space and then the word total. So I'll close the quotes and then I'll click away. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and format this area a little bit further. I'm going to go ahead and give it a green fill color so that it's more visible on the report. I'm going to select the labels and arrange them so they're aligned perfectly. And I'm also going to go to the format ribbon to remove the outlines. And I'm also going to remove the fill. So this is the beginning steps of how you can create calculations for items even if they are labels, and how you can create totals with groups. Returning to my print preview, here's my report with the group header, and then at the bottom of the group, here's the total. On page two, I have my operations, and then if I continue on 
At the bottom of the operations, I have the operations total. I need to do some further formatting, but the groundwork is done here. And that's how you can use groups, totals, sorting, and properties to bring more value to your reports in Access.